Number 15, letter A, if a particle's position is given by x equals to 4 minus 12t plus 3 times t to the second, where t is in seconds and x is in meters, what is its velocity at, at t equals to 1 second? So we have the, the function of the position over here and we want the function of the velocity. And how we do that? We just make the derivative of the position in respect to time. So we have to derive this equation over here. So let's do it. We, we want the derivative of 4 minus 12t plus 3 to the, to, times t to the second. And we want to derive this function over here in respect to time. And this is just minus 12 plus 6 times t. So this is the function of the velocity. So the velocity, it's a function of time, which will be minus 12 plus, well, let me write it again, minus 12 plus 6 times t. So this is the function of the velocity. And in letter A, it wants to know the velocity at 1. So let's calculate it. So the velocity at 1 would be minus 12 plus 6 times 1, which would be minus minus 6 meters per second. So this is the answer of letter A. Letter B, is it moving in the positive or negative direction of x? So we, we can see over here in, in letter A that the velocity is negative. So the, the, the particle is moving in the negative direction of x. So the answer of letter B is negative. Letter C, what is its speed? So if you want the speed, we just take the absolute value of the velocity, would, which in, the, in this case would be plus 6 meters per second. So this is the answer of letter C. Letter D, is the speed decreasing or increasing? So we have to, to look at this equation over here. So when the, the, the time is, is equal to 1, the velocity is minus 6 meters per second. But if, if we increase the velocity a little bit, what would happen? Let's suppose that time is equal to 2, to 2 seconds. So the velocity, when time is 2 seconds, is equal to minus 12 plus 6 times 2, which would be 0. So you can see that the, the, the absolute value of the velocity is decreasing. It was minus 6 and now it's 0. So although the value of the velocity is increasing, its absolute value is decreasing. So the speed is decreasing. So letter D is decreasing. Decreasing. This is the answer of letter uh, D. Letter E. Is there ever an instant when the velocity is zero? We just make this the calculation. Letter D, it is two seconds, right? We just made it over here. Letter F, is there a time after T equals to three seconds when the particle is moving in the negative direction of X? If so, give the time T. If not, answer no. This equation over here, the equation of the velocity is a first degree equation, so it's a straight line. And if we draw the, 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 the graph of the velocity in function of time, it would, would be something like this. And this is two seconds. So we can see that the, the velocity after two seconds, it always increases and is always more than zero. So there isn't a time where the, 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 the particle is moving in the neg neg negative direction of x after t equals to 3 seconds. So the answer of letter F is no. So that's it.